Okay, so in this video, we're talking about vaporization and, condens and condensation. So, um, in order to assign uh, the vaporization and condensation of a specific molecule, what molecule has a bigger or smaller vaporization effect? We need to remember three things. The first one is the greater the surface area, greater the vaporization effect. So the liquid evaporated fast if we have a, a bigger surface area. Second is in order to evaporate, the molecule needs to break intermolecular forces. And remember, intermolecular forces, we're talking about forces like internet that is connecting molecules. It's not inside the molecule, it is outside the molecule. It's connecting my CH4 with my CH4 or whatever. Anything that I have, any molecule I have here, like water being connected with another molecule of water. So this is an intermolecular force. Vaporization stands for when I have a liquid becoming a gas, and condensation is the opposite, is the gas becoming a liquid. So now, in order to figure that out this part, we needed to know what kind of intermolecular forces do I have and what kind of, um, what is the boiling point? It's two, another, it's two important uh, topics I want to talk in this video as well. So let's assign intermolecular forces. So if I draw the Lewis structure for CH4, I would say that this molecule is nonpolar. Because this molecule is nonpolar, I have London forces. This is a symmetric molecule, therefore it is nonpolar. This guy here, if I draw the Lewis structure and I ask myself about symmetry, I know that it's not symmetric. I know that this molecule has polar bonds, therefore, this is a non-polar, oh, this is a polar molecule, and it is a dipole-dipole interaction. So we know that London forces is the weakest uh, forces, intermolecular forces. Dipole-dipole is stronger than London, but it's weaker than hydrogen bond. If I look for this particular molecule here, I also will assign that this molecule is polar and the interaction is dipole dipole. However, this dipole here is stronger because this guy is smaller than this guy. It's more electronegative. If I do the same thing here for my alcohol, I have that Lewis structure. And I know that here I have a hydrogen bond. I know that the hydrogen bond is stronger, have an intermolecular force that is stronger than dipole-dipole, and dipole-dipole is stronger than lambda. So if I'm assigned here, I would say that this is the weakest, so number one. Then I have two dipole-dipoles, but this type is stronger than this one because the fluorine, um, it's um, more electronegative. It makes a dipole a uh, stronger dipole. And hydrogen bond is the strongest from all the inter intermolecular forces. Now I'm assigning the boiling point. I know that it's stronger is my um, intermolecular force. The stronger would be my boiling point. So this would be number four because it has a strong intermolecular force. And it'll be the same thing as the one before. Weaker have a lower boiling point, stronger intermolecular forces has the highest boiling point. Now the vaporization effect is basically the opposite as we have here. So weaker the intermolecular force, easier will be to make a vapor. So I have here my Erlenmeyer, Meyer, and it is locked. I put some liquid here, and once I heat it up a little bit, I will see that this guy makes more vapor. 
compared to the alcohol, the CH3OH. Therefore, in the vaporization effect, this would be the strongest, this would be the second strongest because the interaction, as the interaction goes, uh, lower interaction, higher uh, vaporization effect, easier to make the vapor. So when I'm making uh, my charge, I need to remember, in thermolecular forces, strong thermolecular forces make it higher boiling points. Um, and the opposite, stronger thermolecular forces making the vaporization uh, weaker.